pull in. You've most probably heard someone say that a vehicle or car was pulling in, meaning that it was moving to the side of or off the road. We need to pull in at this gas station as we're running on fumes, your friend might say after seeing the car's low fuel warning light come on. Perhaps you're waiting for the train and you hear an announcement. Due to weather-related delays, the next train will pull into the station half an hour late. You may have heard pull in when not referring to vehicles as well, such as in reference to gathering or receiving something. The police pulled him in for questioning, you might tell your friend's wife after she asks you where he is. Your cafe has been very successful in its first year. We pulled in a lot more money than we expected. Our revenue targets were exceeded by a lot. As you can see, the idiom pull in means that something is sent your way, a metaphor for using a rope to actually pull something toward yourself. Though its usage gets a little less obvious when discussing vehicles such as cars, vans, trucks, trains, boats, ships, hot air balloons, airplanes. In British English, a pull-in is an area to the side of a busy road where motorists can pull in to take a rest, buy food, use the restroom. In American English, this is called a rest stop. The origin of the idiom pull in to describe parking or stopping a car is a bit murky, but it most likely came into usage in the days when boats Ships, water vessel, were the main form of transportation. You see, boats need to be tied to docks, otherwise they will immediately float away, and this is especially inconvenient if people are boarding or disembarking. When boats first arrive at a dock, Ropes attached to the boat are flung around the dock's pilings and pulled in, so that the boat stays securely beside the dock. Boats may be the playthings of rich people nowadays, but they were once the primary form of non-animal transportation and were very common. It's easy to see why pull-in would become the idiom of choice for parking or moving off the road, not much different than using horsepower to describe how powerful an engine is. In the other sense of the idiom, pull-in, meaning to get, receive, gather, collect, obtain, we can see that it is simply a metaphor. Your income, salary, earnings, paycheck is money that you pull in on a regular basis. If you own a business, you pull in revenue or profit. People can also be pulled in in many ways such as pulled in by customs at the airport for further examination, pulled in to completing a project with a family member, pulled in to watching a movie marathon, etc. An alternative idiom to pulling someone in is the idiom 
roping someone in, used in a negative sense. I was roped in to believing that this investment would double my money in a short time, your friend might say after realizing that her financial advisor had all but lied to her. Dad asked me to pick up some nails at the hardware store. The next thing you know, he pulled me into completing the deck with him, your brother might tell you. You might be on a road trip with your friends. Pull in over there. We should stop and take pictures with that landmark. Your bus has pulled in. We should say our goodbyes now, your parents might say to you as you head off to start university. So, the next time you talk about a car, bus, train, or other vehicle getting into a parking spot or a station, or you want to talk about money, customers, attention, etc. coming in, or even a person being physically involved, don't forget that pull in is the idiom you're looking for.